some Manchester United players concerned by tactical changes Eric Ten Hag is making with Manchester United players angry with Eric Ten Hag's treatment of club legend. A number of Manchester United players are starting to grow weary of Eric Ten Hag's criticism as they struggle to arrest their dismal form. United have lost four of their last five games and Ten Hag lamented the easy giveaway goals that Bayern Munich scored in their 4-3 Champions League group stage triumph. Dressing room sources have told the Manchester Evening News that some players believe Ten Hag has favorites in the squad who he is unprepared to single out for criticism, while they feel others are routinely rounded on by the United manager. Although Ten Hag has avoided publicly naming players who have erred, he has often highlighted the players' failure to follow the rules after defeats. Certain United players also feel they have been put in an invidious position to carry out Ten Hag's tactical instructions, as there is a feeling in the squad that his approach has been compromised by the the indefinite absence of Antony. Antony is Ten Hag's most expensive signing at £85.51 million, but he is trying to clear his name amid allegations of domestic abuse. The Brazilian was the only senior left-footed right winger in the United squad before it was mutually agreed he should not be considered for selection until further notice. Ten Hag had expected to have Mason Greenwood, another left-footed forward, in his squad this season but United reneged on their plans to reintegrate him into the squad amid a backlash from supporters. Mason Mason Mount, who excelled off the right for Chelsea, could now occupy Antony's role even though he was recruited as a central midfielder for £60 M in the summer. After the Bayern loss, Ten Hag criticized the ease with which Leroy Sane bypassed Marcus Rashford before scoring the opening goal and how Jamal Musiala burst into the United area to tee up Serge Gnabry for Bayern's second four minutes later. You have to look in the mirror because the goals were easy giveaways, Ten Hag said. We were in the first 25 minutes better in the game than Munich and then that goal, it was so easy and it was not only Andre. If you see how easy Sane is going through and that has to do with determination, you don't let players through so easy. That is the point, we have to cross the line as an individual and as a team to win games because it started there. That's what I mean, you have to suffer sacrifice in situations, to give everything and to stop that and only when we get that and are we going to win games. The way Sane came through can't be. And the second goal, it's almost similar over the other side. How easy players come through our box and to finish, it can't be. In other news, Manchester United players angry with Eric Ten Hag's treatment of club legend. Senior Manchester United players are angry with Eric Ten Hag for the way in which David De Gea's Old Trafford career was brought to a brutal close. The club legend departed United in the summer after 12 years of unwavering service, during which he established a reputation as one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Though his form fluctuated dramatically during the latter stages of his United career, Career, the Spain international won the Golden Gloves award last term and was the club's player of the year on four separate occasions. According to The Sun, Ten Hag's treatment of De Gea has left a group of players fuming, with his decision to replace a Premier League winner with Andre Onana hardly helping the Dutchman's cause. Ten Hag sanctioned the £50 million signing of a goalkeeper who he had worked with at Ajax, but the Cameroon international has endured a nightmare start to his United career. Onana was again at fault during Wednesday's Champions League defeat against Bayern Munich when his ghastly error allowed Leroy Sane to open the scoring in a 4-3 victory for the Bundesliga Giants. Speaking after a defeat that represented a fourth consecutive loss, Onana said, This is the life of a goalkeeper. It's difficult. We started very good. After my mistake, we lost control of the game. It's a difficult situation for us, for me especially because I'm the one who let the team down. We were very good on the ball. They didn't create any chances. Their first shot on target, I made a mistake. It was the key point and the team went down because of that mistake. If we didn't win today, it was because of me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.